super duper neato. Right on, gang. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Into the Breach. Oh my god! It's so good. Tactical roguelike, uh, turn-based amazingness. Mechs versus Vex, that's what we're talking about. So you take your giant mech, you go and smash some bugs, and the roguelike part is just, is just really nice. So, my main time traveler, or the one I decided to take with me from the last game, his name is Binary. And, uh, you can change the name of any of these mechs, but I like to leave them just how they are. And then, um, you can see I've unlocked many other time travelers, and they all have, uh, little special abilities. Mech gains armor, one extra reset turn every battle, plus three health and immune to fire. Ooh, that's nice! Unaffected by webs and smoke, plus two bonus XP for kill. Uh, I mean, your characters are gonna level up anyways, but this is the first guy you get, Ralph Carlson, so I don't generally play with him, but he was nice! He was a good first one to have. And then we've got, uh, a mech kind of pilot that needs to be powered, but he can drop anywhere on the map and damages adjacent enemies in doing so. Really, really awesome. Uh, aside from the pilots, which you can assign to any of your mechs, you also have the squads. So, Riftwalkers, that's the first one you get. Kind of straightforward. You got a big punchy machine thing, a cannon, and then an artillery. Rusting Hulks are all about smoke, and uh, every time you create a smoke cloud, it cancels the enemy's attack. And uh, they also have an ability that lets them do damage with smoke, so it's really, really nice as well. Rusting or er, Blitzkrieg is what we're playing now. They're basically lightning bugs. Uh, you walk up to things with your with your lightning whips, and you can chain it through multiple enemies in in succession, which is really, really nice. But I end up doing a lot of friendly fire because uh, the maps are quite small in this game, as you will soon see. We've got the uh, the Zenith Guard here, which are locked. Three more achievements, and I'll have uh, enough coins to unlock them, so maybe we'll get at that. Uh, Steel Judoka basically moves enemies around the map, that is their spe specialization, and uh, in moving them, they the enemies can hit each other if you're good at looking at the attack order and figuring out who's going to be where when the attack goes off. So, a little uh, higher tier, obviously, they did cost a bit more, but they are harder to use. The easiest ones are are the cheaper ones, which I think is really, really nice. As you get more into the game, you can uh, mix it up a bit. And then Flame Behemoths. Invincible to flames, these mechs aim to burn any threat to ashes. I really, really like the Flame Behemoths, but it's very, very hard to win with them because you're not able to do any actual physical damage with this squad. You'll basically light stuff on fire and um, hope that it burns to death before it uh, ends up taking out a building or something like that. So... A little bit hard to use there, but it's nice. We've got the Frozen Titans, obviously can shoot some ice around, stuff like that. I haven't unlocked it. Hazardous mechs do damage to themselves as well as the enemy. I have looked up uh, what this one is because I thought, hey, maybe this is the next one I'm gonna get. No, I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna aim for that, that three coins and be just fine. Um, you can see I've beaten the game uh, on the two wave difficulty. You basically secured two, three, or four islands before you go to the final island and try and conquer that, and I've secured two islands, went to the final island, and won with both a random squad and a custom squad. So, super nice. I think I'm going to go for a win with the Riftwalkers today, because we don't have any of those two, three, and four, and I think that would be a really nice introduction to the game, if you haven't played it before. So, um, this Time Traveler offers plus one mech movement and plus two mech HP. That's going to be really, really good for the punchy sort of combat mech. And then uh, we've got one Achievo left. Ramming speed. Kill an enemy five or more tiles away with a dash punch. So I'll need to get some power up before we're able to do that. But this game is fucking awesome. It sucked me in so easily. And uh, I am going to play it on easy. Because it's, it's fucking difficult if I'm playing it on normal. Much like Faster Than Light uh, subsets other game. This was made by the creators of Faster Than Light. And they went from Kickstarter to this amazingness, which is really, really cool. From a salvage timeline, my databank holds records critical to victory over the Vec. So this, uh, this bot, this mech pilot, has been to two timelines. He won one, he lost one. Hopefully we're going to have some luck today. This is the first island, Archive Inc., second, third, fourth, obviously. So we'll start here because it's nice and simple. If you're, not, if you're from the future, you'll find our island is even further back in time than you expected. If not for the Vec, I'd have loved to give you a tour of the old Earth relics. 
Well, that's all over now. Um, so you've got your power grid at the top. Whenever a building takes damage, your power grid is going to drop. This percentage is how much it has uh, a chance to defend itself. So there's a 15% chance that the power won't drop when a building is hit, but that's pretty low. Once you fill this power grid all the way up, you can work a, a bit more on grid defense. And then reputation here is earned by the stars uh, completing missions on this map. And that can be used to buy weapons and pilots and all kinds of upgrades. And then we've got the reactor cores, which basically upgrade your mech in some way. So one reactor core will add two health to uh, this combat mech, or one movement. We can get the dash for two, so that is what I'm going to do because I want to get that achievo. Make a little bit of... Uh, Make a little bit of coinage. Let's start out on Antiquity Row. We've got engineers working on two old earth tanks in this region. They should be up and running shortly after you arrive. And we just basically have to defend the tanks. Ain't no problem there. So uh, let's drop our mechs in. Here we go. Huzzah! This, this game sucked me in so good. I love it a lot. Vec infestation detected. So that Mantis dude is going right for the tank. Which is... Uh, not very nice of him. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is uh, punch him. Punch him really hard and hopefully that's gonna work. He's only got one health, so yeah. Bam! Dead. One less vec to dispose of. Very nice. And uh, let's go ahead and launch. Well, if I launch this artillery, then the mech that I just moved, the combat mech, is gonna be pushed back. So that's probably not what I wanna do. I'm gonna launch it here. So the uh, Vec is moved forward just a little bit, and then the tank can blast that thing. Um, not into the water, but onto the ice at least. He'll be a little bit closer to the water. And uh, he has like this straight attack, so it's not going to hit any of my buildings or anything. It's just going to go over there and bam, do nothing. So I think that's a good move. I'm satisfied with that. And uh, we still got that artillery in the back, having a pretty good uh, range of the situation. And, yeah, now we've got the bugs targeting both of my dudes, but I guess that's relatively okay. We could, uh, slam it, slam it and jam it, but if I do that, then this tank is gonna be knocked back, and it's gonna hit this tank, so that's gonna do one damage to both of them, destroying this tank, which is probably not something that I want to do. Um, so I'll hold off on that for now. I'm gonna go punch this guy into the water, that's what I'm gonna do. Blech. Beck has been deleted. Alright, so let's get um, a little bit of action going on this guy. And now I think it's safe to launch a, launch a, launch a projectile over there. And that did okay. The Vex are going to burrow out here, so we might get a little bit overrun. One of the goals in the game is to completely, uh, completely eliminate the Vex. But just completing the objective is uh, sometimes good enough. So that Mantis is aiming for one of my buildings, so I want to get rid of him. Um, archive tanks are now active, so that's pretty sweet. Hmm. I need to repair this, this tank before he takes too much fire damage. So let's go over here. And we can push these guys around just a little bit with the Archive Tanks, so I think that's a good idea. Um, I don't want to place it on this emerging spot, or else it's going to be destroyed for sure. But maybe we can uh, shove these dudes out of the way? Hmm, not enough movement range. Well, let's, uh, hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Alright. Let's, let's, let's... We could blam this guy. That's what I'm going to do. Move him off of the buildings. So he's not going to attack anything this turn. This tank is going to... Well, let's see. I'll punch this dude. Yeah, he's just going to die. Okay, I just kind of wanted to move him out of the way. But that's good news. I should have punched the other dude, actually. Ah, oh, fart. So, okay, what I can do is reset the turn. Once per battle, go back in time, local jump. This is all about different timelines and stuff like that, so... Did you pick up a strange glitch in your sensors just now? Yeah, that was me, dude! I was local jumping! This is completely normal, don't worry about that! So I'm gonna punch this dude away, flat. I'll use the tank to uh, smack this guy, 
out of the way. If I left this dude alive, then he might hit his teammate. Let's see. I think that's what's gonna happen. So, all right. Let's, let's, let's. I'm gonna leave him alive. I'll place my tank on that hole again and repair it so it doesn't take fire damage. And, uh, let's see. I'll just move this artillery up. Eh, not the best move I could make, but it's good. It's good for now. We'll see what happened. We'll see what it do, baby boo! Boom. The Vec are disposing of each other. Hehehe. <laughs> I got it, coach. Don't you worry, kids. All right, so what are you going to do now? Both of them are threatening my uh, my battle mech, my combat mech, so I'm not too worried about that. We can get rid of these guys relatively easy. Boom, boom, and victory. Victory with no Vex on the screen. Took out those Vex cleaner than an acid bath. Hell yeah, we did. So that's a mission complete. Wonderfully done. Old Earth technology's up and kicking. Couldn't have hoped for better. So yeah, we save 500 people. If you let the buildings get hit, then uh, people die. Then people die. It, it's not good for anyone. So basically three regions are going to be sacrificed to the Vec on each island. So I think I'm going to go for the ones with the most stars. And if you complete all of your missions, then you are able to uh, pick a special treat at the end of the island. So that's also something that I'm trying to do. Block Vex spawning three times. That's simple enough. I'm pretty good at that now. When I first started the game, I, I got a little bit overtaken. But now I, I get it. I get it a little bit more. It's pretty nice. So we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of action happening. Action Jackson. So I'm going to take my combat men, punch this dude out of the way. I can't quite get to that emerging back, but I guess that's fine. I'll shoot this thing, and then I'm going to knock it into the water. ba -boop. And they can't swim. That's one way to wash away the Vec. That's right. Scrub it good. Scrub it hard. All right, so we got this little 2 HP fella. That's not going to be too much trouble, I don't think. Just go ahead and punch him flat. And put my tank on this. There's probably going to be some more emerging soon, so I need to move my uh, artillery up. It's going to be a relatively quick island, I do think. We've already completed our uh, our mission, our mission statement. So let's uh, I'll park this guy here, do a little repair. That'll be good. And uh, I probably should get rid of that thing. That's like, are you sure? These enemy or these these allies still have moves they can make. But yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. We completed it no matter what. It just uh, takes a split second. But that's time I can spend with my kids. You know what I'm saying? We killed them all. The Vec are dead. Yeah, perfect. Perfect victory. Flawless. With this region secured, we can open our technology vaults. Let's see what other old Earth tech we can use against the Vec. Tech and mech. Tech and mech against the Vec. <laughs> all right, so let's go to the Forgotten Hills now. Destroy the dam. Take less than three grid damage. I think I'm more than capable of that. So let's keep these guys here so they can destroy the dam. Keep my artillery in the back so he can cover. Just get some cover and fire. And a pod incoming. Sweet. So we're going to be able to get some treats as long as we recover that pod. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Um, first I'm going to send my tank across. And... Oh, he can't quite sit on that hole. Okay, well that's fine. You can blow up the dam, little guy. That's how that's going to work. And this guy's aiming for that building, so I'll let my combat me mech take the hit since he has a, a bit more health. Knock this dude into the uh, the path of his emerging brethren. Oh, it's just super sweet. I'm actually gonna flood this whole shit. That's what I'm gonna do. Artillery's ready. Flat. All right, and my mechs don't drown because they are massive. You can see they've got that massive ability. Massive units can walk through water, but Water will prevent shooting, so works out relatively well. As long as I don't keep them there for the whole fight. But right now they just enjoy a little bath, you know? They get dirty, they got bug guts all over them. That dude's dead. They've got a, uh, this is kind of like an assist mob. It basically uh, does nothing except for um, 
supporting its allies. So this one gives regeneration, some of them give armor, stuff like that. So it works out relatively okay. Let's... hmm. This is going to be a difficult one. Hmm, I can't seem to punch this guy. We are going to take some grid damage. I guess I just have to kind of accept that. I could also uh, blast this dude and kill him, but we'd also take some grid damage because I'd be slamming him into the, into the buildings, so I don't think I'm going to do that either. Let's just knock him back onto his uh, burrowing friend there. And yeah, I think that's good enough. Oh, I want to repair this. Mecha submerged, cannot repair. Damn! That's, that's poopy. Well, 35 casualties. 35 people dead, just that quick. Can you believe it? Craziness. Just craziness. Alright, so uh, we've got some more burrowing action going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and smack this dude. Blech. Now he's dead. Let's take care of this guy as well. Um, can my tank get over there? No, I'd have to knock this dude back just a little bit, but then he wouldn't take the damage. So you know what? I'm just gonna give him the damage. That's fine. My combat mech can take a bit more of a beating. And uh, I'll get rid of this guy so he's not regenerating this guy's health. That would basically negate the one damage that I did. So that's not what we want to do. Alright, blocked an enemy there. Got some, uh, some dudes. Oh, less than three grid damage is a fucking a goal as well. So we need to watch that. Oh boy. Ah oh boy. Um, this is gonna be difficult. Well, I can move this guy and at least get rid of that. A boop. I'll knock this guy into the water. La 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 loom. And then we've, uh, we've completed the mission. We're still gonna take one more grid damage, which is not good, but Ain't nothing I could do! All my dudes are on the wrong side of the screen! <laughs> They're on the run! Yeah, we didn't kill them all, though. That's alright. We get them next time. Less than three grid damage. Protect the time pod. Overall, I'll call it a victory. I always hate those, uh, those casualties, though. Heavy rocket, brute class weapon. Fires a projectile that heavily damages a target and pushes adjacent tiles. So that's really nice. That's, like, artillery for my, uh, brute class. Sweet. Well, uh, we've got two more to go here. Let's go to the excavation site. Well, we could do central museums as well. But this one's telling me do not kill the volatile Vec, which uh, I don't want to have a Vec running around the entire time. So I'm going to go over here instead. End battle with less than four mech damage. Protect the power generator. Oh, and there's landmines. Super. Super duper. Neato. Right on, gang. All right. Hostiles detected. Here we go. They've got uh, a regeneration guy already, so that's not going to be good. And they're trying to wrap up my factory here. I ain't having none of it. I'll tell you right now. I'm going to kill this dude nice and easy. And uh, punch this guy out of the way. Bam. All right. And then if I knock this dude back just a little bit. Oh, no, I can kill him outright. That's fine. We'll do just that then. Vec have been disposed of. And you can see my little dudes are leveling, um, although slowly. I think my main guy is sucking up most of the experience, so I need to watch that. That guy blew himself up with a mine. Sweet! I'm gonna be able to sit on both of these uh, spawning Vex. That's gonna be pretty sweet as well. Bam. Oh yeah. Get it. Get it, suckle. Suckle, motherfucker! Alright. You ready to go? Nobody's coming around this time. We're gonna have one more to deal with, but that's absolutely fine. I'll repair these guys up in preparation for the, the final spawning. The last one to spawn. He's so fucked. Oh, it's that guy with one HP. You done! You done, son! Get out, kid! I'll let the tank do it. Wonderfully done, everyone! Repair up. And we are out of here. The Riftwalker saved us. Yes, yes we did. Thank you, citizen. Your mechs are barely scratched. That'll allow us to assign our repair crews to emergencies in other regions. Heck yeah, it will. And we've got this... Oh. I wanted those two stars up there. Shit! Oh well. I should have planned it out a little better, I guess. 
Well, back to corporate headquarters, because we lost those last three, as I said would happen. Ah, that's okay. Destroy the Hornet leader, protect the corporate tower. Some kind of Vec abomination is approaching he headquarters. Whatever it is, it must be stopped. Oh, we'll stop it. We'll stop it real good. So, uh, kind of this is the layout that I always do. Combat mech on one side, tank on the other, and then my artillery. We are going to need to push that wasp out of the way, because look at that attack range. He attacks three tiles for two damage, which is uh, just pretty crazy. I'm going to push this little dude into the water. That's a pretty easy problem to solve, but unfortunately this wasp is flying. Even if he wasn't flying, he's massive. And all, uh, all I do by actually knocking him into the water is uh, make him unable to attack or cancel his attack. Which is pretty terrible. Um, first things first, though. We're gonna back my artillery up. I'll bring this dude around to punch it in the face. Blam! And then we'll hit it with the artillery. So if I can get more damage like that, it should it should go relatively relatively quickly. Take it down nice and quick. You can also see uh, the forests are lighting on fire every time they get hit, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. Uh, we've got this dude causing some trouble. I can't quite knock him into the mountain, so maybe I'll just, uh, hmm. Well, yeah, that'll kill it. Then my mech's gonna take a little bit of damage. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Artillery took the hit, but I'll just repair that right off, and we are good to go. We'll block the spawning of the next mech. And, yeah, a little bit of damage, but... Just one damage? I can take that shit. Don't worry about that. Oh, but now we've got a little threat aiming at our corporate headquarters. That's not going to do no no. Not at all. So I punch him in the face. Punch him in the face! Alright. We got this unlocked. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, kid! Last turn. Yep. We good. Super sweet. So, really, really cool game. Um... It might be a little too easy on easy now, so I should probably bump it up. I might do that the next time I sit down to play this. But first we've got to take one more island and beat the volcano and all that kind of stuff. Which we shall do. You accomplished every archive mission. An astounding accomplishment. Please, you and the Riftwalkers accept this. Thanks. Oh, Archimedes. Move again after shooting. Damn, I don't have this pilot yet. I think I'm going to take him. Unlocked in the hangar. Hell yeah! Yeah, boy! Alright, so now we spend some reputation. They've got weapons for sale, they've got supplies for sale. So we've got auto shield weapon, rocket artillery. Oh, that's pretty cool. Two damage? Mmm, that's tasty. Brute class weapon, ramming engines. Oh, I really like that too. Does two damage and one damage to self. Heal all player units, including disabled mechs. Wow. I'm buying that for sure. And then a couple of reactor cores. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Now I have uh, enough cores to power this dash. The Titan Fist and the repair drop doesn't require any additional uh, power. So that's really nice. What does the heavy rocket need? It needs one power. Which I have! Alright! So now we've got an additional weapon there. And we can fit one more weapon on our artillery mech. So... That is super, super sweet, but we're going to hit it in the next episode. So, friends, please join me for it, Into the Breach. This game is just fantastic. Um, I'm going to keep playing, and I'll bring you some more next week because, yeah, it's just got me sucked in. It's got me sucked in real good, okay? And if you like the look of it, it's relatively cheap on Steam. I think it's like $15 or something like that, but support subset games. Make them, make them keep pumping out titles like this. Faster Than Light, I've come back to for years and years, and I'm pretty sure Into the Breach is going to be the same thing. So they're just doing fantastic work over there. Anyways, friends, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. We've also got links down in the description to Patreon, Twitter, Discord, whatever you'd like to support me on. I would be more than grateful for it. Once again, friends, this has been Into the Breach. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll see you in the next one, and until then, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my.
my friends.